Hey, darlings. Happy Sunday. How's your heart? If you're watching the replay, I am waiting on my Facebook audience to be notified so you can pass forward. Hey, darling. Oh, y'all coming in. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see, I see. Hey, Mr. Little John, are you feeling? Are you feeling? <laughs> oh, you guys are sharing this already. You must think it's going to be good. You must think it's going to be good. Well, I'm in the car. Um, it's date night. I'm, I headed out on a date, but the weather got really um, crazy. It looked like a tornado or something. The sky is really dark. So I had to cancel. Uh, well, getting ready to cancel my date. I told him, um, I'd give me a few minutes and I'll let him know. Because um, he said he didn't want mama driving out there, you know, out there in the in the streets like that. So um, I may have to postpone, but... Um, as I was sitting here before I got out of the car, because it's it's raining, I wanted to um, chat with you since I can't get out the car. Because this is too, look, I done sat up under the dryer today, y'all, and put my hair under the dryer, so I don't want to get it wet. But anyway, listen, um, it's okay to love again, and this is why I say that. The only reason why you're not loving again is because it's a choice that you're making. Would they make him drive in the rain? No, 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 no. This is, this is, this is, we ain't got to that stage where we can, he can, he can just come to the house yet. You gotta, you, you gotta be all right with just taking yourself and you, we'll meet there. Okay. You could being able to pick me up from the house. Darius is a privilege. So he ain't got there yet. <laughs> it's a privilege to come pick up Miss Mason from the house, baby. So I have no problem with driving. But anywho, as I was saying, it's okay to love again. And the only reason why you're not loving um, again is because you're choosing to. I was having a conversation with a friend yesterday um, and he was telling me some things that happened to him when he was younger. And every time a certain thing come up, like a holiday comes up, he gets upset and it pisses him off because he thinks about what happened when he was younger. And I said, darling, you're choosing not to celebrate. You're choosing to to rem remember those times. That's what you're choosing to do. I said, so you can't hold anybody else responsible for something that you're choosing to hold on to. So it brought me to loving again. So many people are afraid to love. And one of the things that I learned about love that I really love about love, actually, one of the things that I loved um, being married was being in a being in a marriage, being in a, in a, at the time when I, you know, before it got ugly, being in a healthy relationship at the when it's healthy can make you the best person that you ever thought you could be as well as. There's so much stuff that so many of us are trying to do by ourselves. I'm trying to get my coins. I'm trying to be about my life. That's what the women say. And the men are, you know what? I, I program myself to where, you know, I'm, I'm busy. I, I don't have time for this because it's best for me to stay busy because I got things I got to handle in my life. And, and you know, I got to make things together. So it, it's better for me to cut out a relationship and just grind as hard as I can. Now, what's funny is this. Um, I date, you guys know that I date and, um, it's, it's so cute to me. And I just be like, Oh, ain't that so cute? Like when I go, when I'm invited over for dinner, we got to the point where I'll go over for dinner, but they'll invite me over for, you know, watch a movie or whatever. Right. I can walk in the house and see and that there's no feminine energy in the house anywhere. Now, mind you, they might have other women that they may be dating. Cause I date, um, I'm not exclusive with anyone just yet. But I, that, that that's not a problem for me. You know, I have to. I don't push for push for east, uh, exclusivity until I know that you are what I'm looking for, and you carry what it is that I need. So I'm not one of those women that say, "Oh, if he dating other people, I can't date him." No, because it's, I'm only collecting data. 
you know and to me collecting data means you go out normally when you meet people especially men nine times out of ten they got somebody and it's, and if you like him you know all you gonna do is come up in there and get in his head and then the other one's gonna just dissipate anyway so I'm not concerned I'm never concerned about the next woman so when I walk in it's like oh it's so that's so sweet that's so sweet um, there is, there, you know, he's grinding it out. He's making it happen. He's doing his thing, but there's no feminine energy in the house whatsoever. Like I said, maybe, you know, if he's dating other people that he might be doing whatever with or hang out with, they're not a permanent fixture because if there's a permanent fixture of a woman in a man's home, it will be feminine energy all over the place. At least if it was my man's house, it would be some feminine energy all over the place. And what I mean by that is it's, it's not even anything like leaving clothes or anything like that. It ain't it ain't that it's it's a it's a it's an energy in the house that you can feel. There's a permanent woman that's there. So I'll go in and then we'll sit and talk and, and have dinner and maybe tell me about the grind and everything that they got going on. And, and to me, it's, it's so cute because I can appreciate the hustle and the grind. But what they don't understand is if you had a woman, a wise woman in your life, that grind that you're doing so hard and that that heart that you're trying to uh, cover, you could get to where you need to go a lot faster because... We were created to, to help each other. So one of my main reasons um, for getting back into the dating game and deciding that I wanted to be in a relationship again is because I understand the importance of how we make each other better. You know, we make each other better. But everybody's grinding it out. Your body is tired. You are stressed out. You're not getting enough sleep. You're not getting enough rest because you're trying to do it on your own. But at the same time, you're saying, God, I need, you know, g give me some more opportunity. And God might be telling you, go get you a wife. He might be, he might be putting people in your path. The, the very help that you need. And I'm not saying that you get with people just to help out. You know, some people are looking for a help, a hand up. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a purpose mate, not just a playmate. Two totally different things. And when you connect with someone and you give them the opportunity to get to know the real you, you can realize that, wait a minute, the very thing that I'm trying to accomplish this person carries those missing pieces and the very thing that he's trying to accomplish he might say wait a minute i've been trying to do this on my own and she came in here with her girl magic that feminine magic and she just made it happen just like that now if you understand that why wouldn't you open up yourself to love again like why would you not why would you not do that and so I had to take a check in the mirror and say, hey, bro, wait a minute. Y your man is going to be somebody that's going to come in and whatever it is that you're doing, he's going to complement your purpose and you're going to complement his purpose as well. And I was able to identify that early on because every man that I've dated seriously, um, I haven't had that many relationships in my life, but anyone that got that close to me, their their life was was totally changed because I was in it. I get calls on a regular basis from exes saying, you know what? I made a mistake or I wasn't ready at the time or I might have married the wrong woman. I mean, like everything I'm trying to do, you know, I, 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 I'm trying to do this, but I, I can't seem to get it done. I said, because, baby, you married someone that you could hire someone to per replace what she does for you. See, you were supposed to marry a woman that could touch your soul, your purpose. She could take you to a next level, but you got caught up in, she could cook, she could clean, you know, she could, she could do little domesticated stuff. And that's cute. I think all women should have some domesticated, uh, -ness, -ness, ness about them. But when you connect with someone basically, uh, strictly on those purposes, that means baby girl can be replaced. That means you could hire somebody to cook for you. You can hire somebody to clean for you. You can hire somebody to have sex with you if that's what you want. But you can't hire nobody to connect with your soul and your purpose and your spirit. So now you looking back over at Miss Mason because she knew how to do that. But it's too late because Miss Mason done moved on. So now you're trying to find a replacement or try to make her into something that she isn't. So you got to understand when you connect with somebody 
that's good for your soul, your purpose. It's a totally different thing. But if you if you just want the big button to smile, you want the woman that can you know she can cook a nice little cake and all of those things. You want the brother that you know he look good, he drive a nice car, he got a good job, but he cannot connect with your purpose. He cannot take you to another place, baby. You just wasted your time. You just wasted your time. Thank you, Lisa. You like my hair, girl. I did it myself today. I did it myself. I washed it and conditioned it and sent it under the dryer, girl. <laughs> I had a date, so you know, you ladies. Uh, here, okay, here's here's something for the ladies. Dating um, 101. When you have a date, for you always make your it's something about it's your scent. Make sure your hair and everything is together. So I'll teach that at another time when the fellas ain't around. Okay, make sure you go join my group. I'm an asset women's network, and we'll be talking about that a little bit more. But yeah, this you got you got you have to leave your aura all up and through there. I'm just saying. <laughs> So, um, Robert said, it's rare for a woman to be able to touch your soul and spirit. No, it's not rare. It's about you using wisdom and look for that and that woman from your spirit place, not from just an eye place. See, we get so caught up in the look. We get so caught up in, you know, um, uh, can we, do we like all of the same things? See, you got to remember, sometimes opposites attract. And what you're missing, they have. And what they have, um, you need. And vice versa. So we got to start giving people a little bit more chance. Now, I, I know, you know, my friends, they say, April, my male friends, be like, you be sending these jokers to the guillotine quick. And I can do that because I know who I am at my core. And I ask specific questions in my own April Mason girly kind of way. And I'll know the answers that I need to decide if I want to go out with you again. So if I decide to go out with you again, it means that you've intrigued me enough. And certain questions that you asked answered without you even realizing that you've answered them for me. Makes me say, okay, yeah, yeah, he, he, he might, he might deserve, you know, to, to, to sit in my presence for a second time. <laughs> so with that, you, it's not rare. It's, it's, it's only rare when you're not operating from spirit. It, that's only when it's rare because we're spirit beings in a fleshly body. So you should be operating from your spirit in order to attract what you need. So it's, it's, it's. Very, we've been made to believe that everything is about, like like uh, when I had um, Titus on, we talked about paper marriages. Everybody looked good on paper, but everything that looked good on paper doesn't make it necessarily right. So you have to start operating from your soul, from, excuse me, from your spirit, from your spirit, from your spirit, from your spirit, from your spirit. And, and the only way you can do that is being connected got to be connected and so from that point um that's how i got out of not wanting to date again i was like okay april it's time you know you gotta have you the type of woman that has to have somebody to take care of you 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 like that i i'm what's called a builder kind of woman so i understand another friend of mine called it he says you you know how to amplify a guy yeah i do and i enjoy doing that now that's not for every woman that's just how i am wired that's a part of my dna and um, I look at it as a blessing because what it does for me, it puts me in a position <laughs> to be that rare. It puts me in a position to be that rare, um, that rare woman that the other guy was talking about. So I'm enjoying dating. I, um, when you are in the driver's seat of your life, you're not anxious about anything. People come into your life and every man that you meet, you don't say, oh, is he the one? Is he the one? Is he the one? No, no, no. You don't, you don't do that. What you say is, let me see if he has the potential to go to date two. Let's see if we have um, some interest. Let's see. That, that's what you do. You don't, you don't sit back and, and try to, ooh, ooh, girl, he like a latte and I like a latte too. That's my husband. No, no, we don't do that. <laughs> We don't do that. At least I don't. But I understand it because I was raised in church and, and they don't teach you actually how to date. So my good friend Jack Daniels, um, he's, he, he loves my dating life. I was talking to him. I was talking to Rodney Perry. Hey, RP, if you want, the other day. And they love to hear me talk about my dating life. So Rod, Jack said, April, you have more quality dates than the average woman. So maybe you need to teach, uh, do an event called Teach Me How to Date. And I said, I'm 
might just do that, Jack, because I'm having a good time. And there's no pressure. There's no, I hear so many women say, oh, I just get so frustrated. I said, you only frustrated, baby, because you want to go out and on your first try out, oh, I'm, I'm ready to meet him. I, is that the one? And then you're not looking at yourself as a secure, confident type woman to, to, to know that, wait a minute, I have the pick of the litter. I don't live in a place of lack. I live in a place of abundance. So if he's not the one, then there's another one that will be the one. And I don't live by the statistics that, oh, because there's so many black men in jail. Oh, because you got so much down low. Oh, because you live in Atlanta. Be care I don't live by those restraints. I live from a place of abundance, which is why I have an abundance of dates. Quality dates at that. It's just about figuring out who's the best purpose mate for you. So we, we live by the standards that other people have set. I don't live that. I don't live that way. I don't live that way at all. I don't live from a place of lack. I don't. I just, I used to, I'd be like, man, these men out here, they're not this, they're not that. But number one, I was saying that, but guess what, April, you weren't getting out of the house. So how can I expect to meet Mr. Wright if you don't get out of the house, you don't do nothing? Number two, at that time in my life, I, I lost my purpose. Well, I didn't lose it. I decided not to do it. And when when I got back on my purpose doing what I do, y'all, when I did this Redesign Your Life tour, you have no idea how many men I met along the way <laughs> being on purpose. When I got on purpose doing my life, but I prioritized love in my life. I saw things differently. Some women can't even get to a date. I said, y'all talking about marriage. Can we talk about going on a date first? Because some of the stuff that I've seen on my tour, I'm like, you don't even know how to date. You don't even know how to date. Because a date is nothing more than collecting data. And when you understand that, you go into it differently. You don't go into it trying to lock nobody in and, and you don't put all your eggs in one basket. You don't do it. You go have a good time. You enjoy the moment you put the ball in his court you know you go you always a lady that's positioned to be found but you are okay with making the first move and the making the first move had nothing to do with being um classless or anything like that you just let it be known that you are interested and available and at that point he takes the ball and run with it and nine times out of ten he gonna be shocked it's like oh, she like me I, I i didn't even i didn't even know if i was her type or not i didn't even and so he's okay okay if he if he's a man that picks up kind of quickly okay okay well what, what how you doing what's your name what's your sign what you do <laughs> how you been <laughs> So it's, it's that kind of thing. And when you understand that, you start telling yourself, it's okay for me to love again. It's okay for me to dust myself off, forgive myself for the mistakes that I've made, forgive myself for the choices that I've made in men and women, operate from a place of abundance, know that there, if there's a desire in my heart to have a mate, that there is a mate out there for me. I'm no longer going to pay attention to the stats Facts change. Facts can always change. And what you can do is choose to change what your facts have been. Um, Nikia, you say it's always bad when you make the first move. It's because you, 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 you're not operating from wisdom. You See, I've never had a bad uh, or mistake when I made the first move. Because it's all about how you do what you do, girl. All about how you do what you do. And I'm going to, I'm actually, I told Jack, I said, I'm, I'm looking for a venue now. I'm going to actually teach this. Teach me how to date. And it has a lot to do with your feminine energy. A lot of women don't know how to date because they don't know how to tap into their feminine energy. So if you, if you put it like this, if you operate on your day to day in masculine energy, meaning you don't ever question why you walk so fast you don't ever question why you always say no and never say yes when someone's trying to help you if you are identifying who you are by your job your degree and your um your status you're operating in a masculine all day so of course you're not going to know how to date as a feminine woman of course you won't Absolutely not. So your dates might be going crazy or you might not be getting any or when you make the first move, it might not work out for you. But if you're not, if you're not practicing daily 
to operate in your feminine energy, what makes you think that you can attract a man from a feminine place and, and, and go out on a date and act like a lady, forget think like a man, act like a lady, think like a lady, represent like an asset, okay? How do you, how do you, how do you think that's going to happen? You can't. See, when I decided to start dating again, I put myself through classes and I hired coaches um, to help me in my feminine, my femininity. One of the coaches I hired, she was, she was an Asian woman and I hired her. People said, why did you hire an Asian woman versus a black woman? First of all, I didn't know, a, I didn't know a black woman that was all feminine and could teach me that. But what I did know is that I have a lot of um, Asian family members and um, they mar they're married to um, some of my cousins on my father's side. Now these women get whatever it is that they want. And I'm sitting here like, girl this house is just immaculate how did you and, and and one of them she took me in the kitchen she said I've learned how to fight my battles she said I learned that you stroke his ego it doesn't make me feel any less I'm not dumbing down but everything that I want he gives me because I know how to stroke his ego ladies I have to tell I have to teach y'all about what I learned <laughs> And I use it all the time and it works. And uh, my male friends would be like, April, you, 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 you got game. I said, it's not game. It's woman. It's not game without at all. It's called being a finally being okay with being a woman. And so you can't act like a woman when you're operating from the masculine all the time and everything that you bring to the table is all masculine. You know, when a person asks who you are, you tell them what you do. That is not woman. That's not girl. So, what you say? Do it. You ready to learn? Y'all ready to learn? Yes, yes, yes. It's it's a it's it's a, a it's a wonderful feeling when you tap into that feminine energy and you understand the power of it. I was talking to my girl Tanya Blunt, um, and um, I'm gonna bring her on with me. I texted her today to see if we could do something for the ladies this week. Tanya, y'all know Tanya Blunt from Sister Act Two. His eyes on the sparrow. She's gone and sung the song through the rain for, when she was on Bad Boy. That's like my ace cool. That's my sister. And so both of us, we've been friends for over ten years and both of us were hard and masculine and all of that right but we were talking the other day about how we are so in love with being the feminine woman how we've evolved and we walked because we you know we're friends have been friends for so long we we saw where each other you know where we were and she's like april she's she not she got married not too long ago and she said my husband loves everything about me when i became that feminine woman i attracted a man that was looking for a feminine woman so i'm gonna see i'm trying to check her schedule to see if she's available this week and we can go live right here um together uh and so we can discuss it because this is something that women need ladies you know i know you desire a mate and you're supposed to but you can't get to a, even a date if you don't know how to operate as a woman and if your heart is closed off to love i'm choosing to love again because love is a choice I'm just following my heart, but I'm taking my brain with me. That's 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 the only difference. And see, now that I've matured and I operate as a wise woman and not just a woman, two totally different things, baby. I can make decisions. And I posted a post yesterday about sometimes people put up walls to see who cares enough to tear them down. And you know, some folks had to say, no, that ain't wise, that ain't this, that. No, no, no. See, a wise woman can hear certain things that a man says. And that will determine if he's worth her showing him another side. Now, she's not going to sit there forever and, and try to, uh, let me show you, let me show you you this, let me let me help you unpack you. No, a wise woman doesn't do that. But what a wise woman does, she hears key things. And even though he has the wall up, based upon his conversation the questions that he asked she asked and if she's in his presence in his space he will get vulnerable just enough for a wise woman to pick up on it and she can say you know what i hear what he's saying but i also hear that vulnerable part and i also hear that if the right woman came along and showed him something different that door, that mustard seed door is open just a little bit. Now, a wise woman is going to use her girl and really man. A woman is going to say, 
First of all, she ain't going to hear none of that. She, she's not going to be wise enough to hear key things because why? She's making it all about her. She's looking at what she can get. A wise woman look at what she can give. Because she knows if she's choosing to give to that man, she would have done her due diligence in the man that she chose. That's why I don't understand women that can't submit to um to their husbands. You chose the joker. So why wouldn't you trust him to lead you down the right path? Why wouldn't you trust his judgment? You chose him. See, it's only when a woman is not wise in how she vets and how she chooses and how she listens that she has a problem with giving too much. She has a problem with not being able to hear correctly. She has a problem with always trying to get, 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 get first before she gives. She knows just how much to give. She doesn't overdo. She actually mirrors what he does, but she does it in a girl way. I'm teaching more than y'all saying amen. I need an offering. Y'all need to go to my PayPal me, dog, on it. I'm teaching right now. Got all what throw 300 people in here tonight. <laughs> What if a woman is too feminine? She can she she needs some masculine to achieve success. I did I didn't I didn't say she didn't. Mas masculine energy on a woman should not be done in the same way as it, do, it is in a man. I have to teach that. I have masculine energy. That's why I've been successful in business. But guess what? I, with my masculine energy, I take my girl with me to every business meeting. So yes. Being a mask, having some masculinity, because there's men have some femininity, but my masculinity is not overdone. It does not overpower my femininity. The only reason way that I'm able to be in business as a feminine woman, I have to have some masculine trait. I have to be goal oriented. I have to be ambitious. I have to be a logical thinker on some things. That's different. But that should not overpower and what's happened is so many women have let their masculinity they hustle they grind get that education overpower the feminine side and so now when you when you're presented with the opportunity to go on a date you don't show up as that feminine woman you show up as that masculine dude and last time i checked masculine men do not want a masculine woman they want a feminine woman and so, no, there's nothing wrong with that because I'm a businesswoman and my, my, my friends call me a pit bull and what pit, pit, pit bull with heels on when I go handle business. But no pit bull with lipstick on. However, I'm still can make it happen in the boardroom. But guess what? I take that girl with me all the time and I know how to be coy. I know how to listen. I know how to bring that feminine energy out even in a business meeting. And even if I'm having a meeting with another woman, I know how to bring that feminine energy out because a lot of women carry more masculine energy. And so I have to break all that down and be like, hold on, baby, are you not dealing with no man, sweetheart? We, we don't, we, we're not doing that. We, we're not doing that. We, I, I'm a woman and this is how women operate in business. Women, in, women to me, women in business that are, that are just not, that are all, all masculine, all they talk about is being bad chicks, getting my coins, and they, they, they got to do all this. I don't do that. I don't have to. I don't have to do that. I've gotten so much more being a woman than I ever have trying to prove something to a man, trying to prove that I'm just like him. I'm not. I'm okay with being the weaker vessel, but weaker vessel doesn't mean that I am a doormat. It doesn't mean that I'm weak. It doesn't mean that I'm a, I'm a pushover either. I am, I control the temperature in the home. So because I have an understanding of that, it, it, it doesn't kill me to say, baby, you great. It don't kill me to stroke his ego. It don't, it don't kill me to laugh at his little corny jokes. Be like, really, is that what you're going to do? It, see, a lot of women, they have a problem with that. And it's like, it's like what I said the other day. When it comes to men, ladies, why is it that if a man will tell you, and now, even Titus Unlimited that I had on last week, I brought my good friend Jojo Hill on. I brought Rodney Perry on. I brought my friend Jack Daniels on. So if men do not choose women, uh, if she's going to be a good wife by her degree, by how much money she has, by how much, what, what kind of car she drives, her good credit, why are you still trying to force that down their throat and then get mad when they don't accept it? Now, yes, men love a resourceful, resilient, interdependent, intelligent, smart woman absolutely 
But if you're trying to sell them on pick me, pick me because I have all of these accomplishments because I did what did it the way society told me to do it. You're trying to feed a dog cat food and you're wondering why the little doggy is spitting it out. And then you get mad and say, well, all of these men are intimidated by women. Now, we do have a selection of those because I ran into those that are intimidated even if you are presenting your girl. And they just, that's just on them. However, if men are saying that's not what I'm choosing a woman on. Oh, here come the, here come the angry feminists with the angry faces. I can't help it. It's what it is. If you keep trying to give a dog cat food and wonder why they're not taking it, that's on you. So that's why there has to be a balance. That's why there has to be, get your education, be smart. Use your masculine energy in that and then take your feminine with you. But also bring the feminine with you in relationships. Because I ain't going to lie to you. I used to date like I was interviewing these jokers for to see if I wanted to do business with them because I was so used to operating from the masculine in business. And so it would run the dudes away and they would go get somebody that wasn't even as cute as me. And I'm like, where did they at? <laughs> but what I realized is that she operated from her girl. She might have operated a little bit more from her feminine place. Now, ladies, don't get it twisted. Yes, hey, RP, I was just talking about you. Hey, Roddy Perry said, get your feminine on. Because we talk about this all the time. Men do not choose women if she's going to be a good wife based upon her degree, how much money she got, how educated she is, none of that. So if you keep forcing that down men's throat, that's what men present to us. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the protector, the provider, but you know, that's how we naturally are. Even when, when you look at um, animals, they're, the female, she's looking for that provider who's going to be the best mate. We're the same exact way. So if you keep presenting all of this criteria that men present to us, why he won't you? It's like, he might as well date himself. <laughs> <laughs> he might as well date himself. So ladies, yes, it's so important to choose to love again, but take your feminine energy with you. When I tapped into my girl, I'll tell my daughter, we'll be out. I said, watch your mama work. Watch this, watch this. And as I'm doing this, I'm teaching her that I taught her that that's why she's getting married in a few months. Now, if I would have had the same type of teaching that I had when I was her age, by now, I probably probably would have been married at least 15, almost 20 years by now. Yes, Rodney, Rodney says men have to step up and be that. Absolutely. We, we're not saying that the men ain't got nothing to do. I'm saying that women can inspire men to be better by raising your standard. Fellas, if you if you want to ask that kind of woman, you got to be an asset kind of man. So this, what I'm saying is I'm speaking from an asset woman now. Now, let me clarify that. I'm speaking from a woman that uh, if you want a woman that's about her business, but about you too, you got to be about your business also and about uh, her too. Hey, Keisha, a manly man don't want no masculine woman. No, he does not. That's Keisha. And Keisha got married after what? What'd you say, Keisha? You got married to your husband after what? What, what was it? Six weeks or something? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but yes, fellas, y'all got to step up because you dream about women like us. You dream about having a woman that's going to have your back. You dream about a woman that is going to support you, that is going to care for you, that's going to nurture you, that's going to be able to pray for you, that can give you wise counsel, that can give you the best loving you'd have never had, fulfill all of your fantasies. She exists. But you got to become the man that you need to be to attract her. We here. And the thing is, we're just not accepting the crumbs. That's all. We're waiting for you. We're waiting for you to rise up so we can be everything that you need us to be. Your every fantasy. We can, we can pray together. We can eat together. We can build an empire together. We can make love together. Whatever it is the daddy needs. We can do that. But the issue is, we're waiting on you to rise up. She exists. It's so many of us out here. Some of us, 
need to tap into that feminine energy. But at the same time that we're tapping into the feminine energy, we need y'all to be rising up. Greg, will you say where? If you ain't found her, maybe, just maybe, your criteria of what you're looking for is not coming from spirit. Because we're here. We're out here. We're everywhere. And my job and my, my, my purpose on the planet is to show women how to tap into being more of a feminine woman so we can be identifiable. Hello, somebody. You got to be identifiable. But you can't be identifiable if you acted like a dude. <laughs> and y'all, anything I tell y'all, I'm talking from experience. Because I was once that woman. I was once that man hating. You know, these black men get on my last nerve. Because y'all know my story. I dealt with domestic violence. I dealt with um, sexual abuse from my father, stepfather. I dealt with being cheated on, lied to. I dealt with all of those things. But I had to make a choice to love again. I refused to hold on to the past when my heart was desiring a mate. So I was choosing to paralyze myself. I was choosing to hold on to fear of what might happen again versus choosing to be a woman that, April, you change. You make the change so that you'll be wiser in the men that you choose. But Jay, what's acting like a dude? Was you listening, Angelique, girl? Acting like a man is presenting yourself in the same way that a man presents to you. If you meet a guy and instead of using your feminine energy, you start to list off all of your accomplishments and everything you do. That's what men do to, as we call it, peacock us that show us all their colors because that's what men do. Women, we don't do that. We, we, we sit back. We're receivers. We sit back. We nurturers. We hear. We listen. That we don't we don't do the same things that men do. We 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 just don't. And so I understood that the reason why I wasn't getting at that time getting quality dates um was because I was presenting like a man. So how do you feel about side chicks? I, I think they're the worst things on the planet. I think side chicks side chicks are women that think that they are helping the man but the thing is you're on the side because you'll never you weren't good enough to be number one so that's my thing with side chicks and so, to answer that question side chicks um are are not first round draft picks and what's always funny to me about side chicks is that they'll say well you need to learn how to take care of your man well you can take care of your man you know she could be taking care of her man but guess what even if you're taking care of him too there's something about that other, his main woman that he ain't leaving. So he ain't leave her. You're on the side and he's still going back. So there's something, it, it, you know, it's something that ain't just the kids and I got to split all my stuff. No, no, no. It's something over there. So I mean, side me and side chicks, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree um, with that because to me, a side chick is saying I'm not enough to be the main. That's just, that's just, uh. That's just my 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 uh take on it for those that for the person that asked. What you say? She make me want to get married ASAP after that talk. Well, I, well, you know what? Good, Mr. King. Good. That's that's why I'm here. Even though I'm talking to the women, I'm talking to the fellas as well too. Because in order to be able to obtain the type of woman that I'm talking about, it took it take work to get here. And so because it takes work and it took me work to get here, I can't just let myself go to just anybody, honey. Mm -mm. It's not that I don't have a plethora of options. Miss Mason always have had options. It's just now that Miss Mason knows who she is. She's been doing her work and constantly does her work on a regular basis. So she could be the best woman for her. And so she could be the amazing woman to the husband that's waiting on her when you understand and operate from that point you don't let people say well you single yeah honey i'm single and i am mingling and i'm having a good time because i'm not operating from the place of lack i'm not operating from a place of desperation i don't i took that perfume called desperation oh i threw her away she didn't she she wasn't fitting for me you know she wasn't she wasn't fitting you know you know it, it didn't work well with fit that that didn't work well with my body chemistry <laughs> so at this point in my life yeah 
I'm not just going to to, to to anybody. No, no, no. Everybody don't get my time. Everybody don't get my 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 phone number. And most people that get my phone number, they get my Google Voice number. Miss Mason is I I I love me enough to protect me. If if I let you in, it's because I saw something in you, and I'm going to present my best self, and I'm going to reciprocate. Now, ladies, I'm not saying that you put yourself on a pedestal and you you know you put your standards so high, even the Lord can't reach them. That's not what I'm that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if he is a quality man, you reciprocate. You don't you don't just sit back and make him be fish keep throwing his rod out there and ain't catching no fish. No. You gradually reciprocate. You you know, you you follow your heart and take your mind with you. So you don't just sit back like I am the prize. I am, I am, I am sitting on the pedestal and, and you got to work to get me. Yes, you do have to work, but guess what? I have to work to get you too. It goes both ways. So I don't, I don't position myself so high. It's, it's like in a real estate market. You can position yourself, uh, price a house so high, you price yourself out the doggone market. You don't want to do that. And, and a lot of women are pricing themselves by their education, their degrees, the kind of car they have, the neighborhood they live in, the, the, the kind of cr uh, credit that they have, the sororities they're a part of. That's what you're basing your price on. I don't base my price on that. Absolutely not. Because those are things that can be taken away. Will you still love me if I didn't have any of those things? just saying I don't price myself like that I, I don't I don't put that out there like that you have to be a woman who understands her value and where your value comes from and where your strength come from stop saying I'm a strong independent black woman stop and for my and for my non-black women because I y'all I got a lot of my my Caucasian sisters say Miss April but what about us is is, is your message for, my message for, is for you too baby you guys just don't say I'm a strong independent woman you might say I'm an independent woman don't say that okay because when you're saying you're strong all you're saying is give me more burdens give me more problems because I'm strong enough to handle them uh-uh uh no, no, no. No, no, no. We're not, we're not going to do that. We're going to say we're resilient, interdependent, loving, feminine women. That's what we are. That's what we are. It's when you stop trying to prove that I can do what a man can do. I don't want to do what a man can do, honey. You go break your back. You go let your knees hurt. You go out there and do what you do. You can go work them long hours if that's what daddy want to do. Mama don't want to do that. Mama want to be at the house running her businesses, running your businesses on the side if that's what you need me to do. Make sure daddy eat and he's all taken care of and we, you know, whatever we do with what we do. That's what I want to do. I don't, I don't want to do and show you that I can compete with you. My success is not based on if I could compete with a man, that's not my, my, my success was because I had three children who are now grown to feed. So I put myself out there and I chose to be successful. But my success has nothing to do with showing or trying to prove to men that I can do the same thing that they can do. I don't want to do the same thing men can do. Baby, you go out. Baby, you need some lemonade. You, matter of fact, mama car need to be looked at. You thirsty? <laughs> what you need? What you what what outfit you need me to wear? Who you want me to be tonight? The nurse? The astronaut? The French maid? Who you need me to be? That's yeah. We can do that. Daddy can go out there and make it happen, and Mama make sure that everything at the house is great. Everything with his business is great. Everything that he needs is great. So when we try to compete, when we try to be successful just to compete. Or show a man that we can do what they that they do. You're actually running them away. I ain't trying to do that. Uh 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 no, honey. What you need? Come on, get in the car, baby. I'm a I'm taking daddy out tonight. Where we going? I'm wherever your daddy want to go is where we going. Cause daddy done worked hard. I don't appre I appreciate you, and I'm getting ready to take daddy out to do something. Whatever it is he want to do. Matter of fact, let's role play in the mall and act like you don't even know me. I'm, I'm going to text you and I'm going to walk up on you and act like I'm a new girl you're trying to holler at. Okay, that's what I'm about to do. I ain't going to give all I ain't going to give all, all my secrets. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> Ladies, I'm going to teach the class. I've, Jack got me. Get, Jack got me teaching the class on teach me how to date. So um, I'm going to teach it, but from a strictly a feminine place. Period. Because we have to get back to womanhood and femininity. If you don't have my audio book, um, Are You an Asset? 10 Keys to Being a Woman Who Brings More to the Table Than Her Appetite. I talk about the importance of femininity in there. You can go um, to aprilmason.com and download it. Actually, we got the new hard copy, um, the two disc CDs in the mail. Um, so you can, um, you'll be able to order that tonight. And I'll, I'll sign it and I'll send it to you, okay? But I talk about some of this, uh, the 10 keys to being an asset woman. And like I said, success is wonderful. You know, going and going and able to take care of yourself is wonderful. But if you're still not even getting quality dates, something is wrong. You know, we, we got to do better. Ladies, we have to, um, we have to do, we have to do better. Okay. So we have to be women that are about our business, but at the same time, we can we can um, be women who are who are about our men too. What you say? Do men? Do women really like non-rich guys? Stefan, baby, let me tell you something. Most men are not rich. Okay, fellas, this is for you. Let me break it down for you right quick. Oh, that's a that, look. That's the right song that just came on the radio. I'm living a single life. <laughs> okay, Stefan, let me break this down to you real quick. When a woman says that she wants a man that makes six figures, what she's saying is, I want a man that can provide. Now, if he does not make a lot of money, but he is responsible with his money, that plays a different that's that's totally different so I know a lot of men think oh yeah women all y'all want is money 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 and it's not necessarily that she wants money okay what my good friends uh, told me he said April a man no matter what you say he's gonna funnel it through something sexual regardless of what that's just how we're wired women are just wired to look for the best provider that's just what it is it doesn't mean provider by dollar amount it means provider by who has wisdom with the money who knows how to take care of his family so don't be turned off if a woman has not learned how to choose her words right just yet by saying I want a man that can provide so personally I would take a man making fifty thousand dollars a year that treats me well and that I'm attracted to over a man that makes a whole hell of a lot of money but he got an eight hundred dollar car note a eight thousand dollar mortgage, student loans, and all that. I don't look at it the same way. Just because you make six figures, that doesn't mean that you are saving money. That it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that you're good with your money. And then again, you could be making six figures and you could be good with your money too. You, it, it's not this or that. It can be this and that. But to answer your question, Stefan, for women, it's a security thing. It has nothing to do with trying to be a gold digger. It's more of we, we are wired. It's like, you know how men are wired to be hunters? And men are wired to funnel things through their sexual brain all the doggone time? We are the same way when it comes to provision and security. So never get offended, unless she's, unless she's just being real uh, disrespectful with it. But never get offended when a woman starts to talk about provision because we're wired the same way. You guys are about, about sex. We are about provision. How long should you be with a woman before you propose? Winston asked. That's up to you. I don't believe it. I don't see. I'm a woman that doesn't believe in times. I, I believe in this. If a wise man knows what he wants and he's figured it out and he can spiritually identify this is the woman for me from a spiritual place, it don't take all day. Now, if you are unsure, it to me is when it takes all day but when you're operating from like when I started this video I talked about being in spirit when you operate from a spirit place and you know what you need from your core you can meet a woman and in 30 days propose to her because you're not operating from logic you're operating from spirit yes you you have you you follow in your heart but you're taking your mind and your spirit with you but you're you're operating mainly from spirit your spirits connected 
her spirit would have connected. So in that, you determine what the time is. All of my male friends, they proposed rather quickly because they knew who they were. They could identify it when they saw her. They didn't have any mental blocks trying to keep them from um, making that move. Or, oh, maybe she's going to try to get me for this. Or maybe, you know, she's she going to do me like my ex did. Maybe she's not going to understand me. They didn't do all of that. They took the time to find out who they were as men. They knew exactly who they were, what they needed. And they were able to identify from their spirit. That's my purpose, mate. And every last one of my friends um, that have done that, they've been married over 15, 20 years. Um, Brian says, I need a woman that's very supportive and um, we're supportive together. Okay, Brian, you want a woman that's supportive? Right now, this week, find, some, find a woman to be supportive of. It could just be a friend. You have to start exercising your support muscle. Everything that it is you want, you need to start exercising that. Um, when I, when I started dating again, I started complimenting men just, you know, if they look nice or they smell nice or nice shoes and nice watch, I started complimenting them. I got, I start working that feminine, that girl muscle. Do I have advice on how to love yourself? Absolutely love me or leave me. I think I gave this before, but I'll give it to you again. The easiest way to start loving yourself and make better choices is two things. Love yourself the exact way that you would love someone close to you. The way you love your children, the way you love your parents, the way you love your friends, the way you love your, your, um, your, if you're married, your spouse, the way that you love your, your cat, your dog, whatever it is that you just got this love for, you love yourself exactly that way. How do you make better decisions? Take the same advice that you would give one of your girlfriends that's going through some hell, you take that, you give yourself advice just like that and you take it. That's how you start making wise decisions because normally when our friends come to us, we can give them the bomb advice. Take it yourself. Oh, this is my song. Hold on. See, see, I must be on it today. The right songs are coming on. I'm lost without you. That BB and CC Winans. I'm lost without you. See, y'all gotta get back into y'all gotta get back into love, honey. Go away. Don't let it go away. Everybody thought they would be being CC back in the day. Yep, those times I'm down. Anywho, you have like I said, in order to love yourself, you have to love yourself with the same tenacity that that same passion that you love others that's how I did it and when I start realizing April you give more people more love and you put them above you than you do yourself I had to switch that out because the only reason I'm able to date quality men the way that I am is because I had to love myself first I had to become a quality woman not just in appearance but at the heart at the soul In my spirit and once I do that I go outside without no makeup on yeah I, I meet men when I ain't got no makeup on when I ain't all dolled up when I'm at the when I'm at the gym they be eyeing a sister I'll be like I see you see me on this treadmill boy <laughs> and so but it's the spirit that resonates um, from the inside out the outside is just an added bonus it's just an added bonus. Hey, Willie, how you doing? Love Today seems commercialized. It's only commercialized if you make it commercialized. No matter, It's not about what they make love. It's about what you make love to you. What it means to be, what it means to you. See, we live too much by the standards that other people have set. We don't have to. It doesn't matter if they commercialize it. Heck, Valentine's Day is commercialized. But I still love Valentine's Day because it has a different meaning to me. I decorate my house for Valentine's Day like I decorate it for um, Christmas because I'm just, I'm just that ball of love kind of woman. I'm just, that's just what I am. So I, it means something different, you know, to me. I always want to make sure that my home is in a position and, and, and it has an atmosphere of love and peace and serenity and sexy too. 
all that. We got we don't talk about that in church, but ladies, you got to keep the sexy alive. You can be single and sexy. Uh, I believe in that. I, I really do believe in the single and sexy. <laughs> and and sexy doesn't mean raunchy. Sexy doesn't mean that you got to show everything. Yes, I will show some cleavage and some of y'all, my church folk, and got pissed off at me. I'm like, I got about 2,000 pictures on this page. I show two or three pictures with a little cleavage and they done lost their mind. I'm a Jezebel now. Well, I'll take it because Jezebel didn't have no look. So, you know, so some of that, some of them don't even know what Jezebel mean. It's like Jezebel didn't even have, what was her look? What she looked like? I thought she was a spirit. Okay. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you guys today. And um, it looks like it stopped raining. So I look. I didn't. While y'all was sitting here, I didn't. I didn't text my date on my other phone told, and told him that I was. I was on my mama's on the way. Mama's mama's on the way. So I hope you guys. I hope you guys got something out of this tonight. Who is this? I, who am I listening to? Put on some love music if you're not feeling love. You know, put on some. Put on, watch a romantic movie, fellas. Y'all can watch a romantic comedy too. Get get that love stirred back um, up in you. Would you say, Chantel? Go go ahead. There is uh, there you go. Jezebel had no look. That's what I'm saying. They be calling me Jezebel, and the church folk be getting upset with me, y'all. And I don't care because I'm not church. I'm a woman. And if you understand the spirituality, femininity. And sensuality all goes together. Once you learn that, you'll be unstoppable. So love you guys. We got over 500 people in here tonight. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You better get a ring on you ASAP. Oh, you know what? Uh, Mr. King is coming. He, he and, uh, and I got to tell you guys this. But you, just because you don't see somebody in the picture doesn't necessarily mean there's nobody in the Just because you don't see any pictures doesn't mean... There's no one in the picture. And I'm the type of woman where you would never see a man that I'm dating posted on social media. Now, if you just happen to see that us uh, out, fine. But I'm the type that uh, that won't say a word. The next thing y'all know, I go live and I'm y'all at my wedding. So don't worry about it, sister. I appreciate y'all. But please understand, I would never, I'm not the type that would flaunt um, somebody I'm in a relationship with because number one because I do social media I wouldn't want him being known as you know oh he dates that girl from from Facebook I wouldn't want that as well as I don't want y'all in my business like that and number three I see so many people who do that and that when it don't work out all of a sudden all of the pictures come down they'd be like wait a minute what happened and lastly I have a responsibility uh, my my mandate and purpose in life is to show women how to get it done right I can't be out here taking pictures with every man that I that I'm dating and then posting them and even if I do become exclusive and there ain't no ring on it and Miss Mason ain't one of those that does that. It's unless there's a ring on it and a marriage certificate or I'm walking down the aisle, y'all not gonna know no way unless you just happen to see um, some pictures. It was so funny because I've gone out with a couple celebrity guys and they were like, "Wow, you different." I said, "What you mean? You didn't ask to take no pictures." I said, "Baby, I don't need nobody knowing that we even connected just yet." I know that all the ladies think you fine and you can do this and you that, but I'm a different breed. I don't even want anyone to know that I know you like that. I, I don't even, you know, I know a lot of other women would like to take pictures with you and, and being able to say, hey, I'm dating such and such, but I value me and what I have to lose just like you value you. So I'm not a groupie. I'm trying to get to know you. I, I know your gift already, baby. I see, I've see. i seen your movies. I've heard you sing. I know your gift, darling. I'm trying to get to know the man behind the gift. And every time, you know, they like, I, I wasn't expecting that. I'm like, because you're, you're dealing with a wise woman. You're dealing with an asset woman, honey. Uh, asset women, we don't, need to, we don't need to flaunt you. We don't need to prove anything to anybody. If I'm with you, if somebody just happen to take a picture and folks see it, and next thing you know it's on TMZ, well, that's how y'all find out. Other than that, mm mm. No, no, I, I don't. I don't need no pictures like that. I don't need. I don't need none of that. So let's get to know each other on a strictly woman man um, uh, situation. Not you a celebrity, and you know, I, people know me from from social media. No, 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 no,
so you got to just learn how to operate as a um as a wise woman and when you when you get into that energy ladies when you can get into that it's such a great feeling because you're not desperate and you don't wear that stinky perfume of 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 anxiety and desperation and will he like me no will i like him you know let let i'm gonna present my best self i'm not gonna feel like if he don't like me he's the last man standing i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that i don't i don't i don't operate like that and I don't think anybody should operate like that. But you can't get to that place until you know who you are at your core. You know your value. You know your worth. You know that you're enough. You know that you don't. You you assume that you know what? If I'm in his presence, he like me. You don't. You don't sit there wondering, do he like me? Don't he? No, he, he's in my presence. He like me. Yeah, he like me. He think I'm cute. He 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 like my curves. Yes, he does. That's what you think. You don't think the other way around. You don't think, okay, I'll, I don't know if he gonna like me. I don't. If, if he out with you, there's something about you he like. You just you just reel him on in, being your authentic self and learning how to use your strength, which lies in your femininity. Y'all have a great night. I gotta go get to my day.